Dinner Table Stories, Sharing Personal Cooking Experiences and Recipes. Hello, English learners. Welcome to another episode in our series on Conversational English. Today, we'll be diving into a mouth-watering topic. Sharing personal cooking experiences and recipes during dinner conversations. If you've ever wanted to talk about your culinary triumphs or disasters in English, then this video is for you. Often, the best dinner conversations start naturally from what's already on the table. If you've cooked a meal, use this as a springboard for discussion. You might say, I tried a new recipe for this dish. Do you want to know the secret ingredient? Or you can ask someone else, this tastes amazing. Can you share how you made it? When sharing your personal cooking experiences, it's great to use descriptive language. This helps your listener visualize your kitchen adventure. You could say, it was like conducting a symphony, juggling the sizzling onions, the bubbling sauce, and the aromatic herbs all at once. Remember, you can share both your triumphs and your disasters. Both can make for interesting conversation. For successes, you might say, the souffle rose beautifully. It was my proudest moment in the kitchen. For failures, you could use humor. Like, I tried to make homemade pasta, but it turned out more like a modern art sculpture. When you share a recipe, try to give your listener a sense of the recipe's personality or its history. You could say, this is my grandma's apple pie recipe. It always fills the house with such a warm, comforting smell. Make your recipe sound as appealing as possible to entice your dinner companions to try it at home. That's all for today's lesson, folks. We hope this episode gives you the tools to confidently share your cooking experiences and favorite recipes during dinner conversations. Remember, the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. So go ahead, serve up your stories and recipes in English and let the dinner table become your stage. Happy learning, and even happier cooking!